So three space. No. <laughs> Alright everybody, welcome back to my channel, in which we're going to pick up with my original run of Jeopardy Deluxe Edition for the Super NES. So far, I have won myself $57,100 in a couple of games. If you remember seeing game original game 2, I lost in that game, but I did a redemption and came back to win. Let's see if I can add on to my $57,000 plus, $57,100. Jenny and Rob are my opponents in this game. And we're going to face these as our categories. We're going to deal with opera. Starts with O. Architects. Multiple meanings. 1970. And finally, American authors. Okay. So I think that with American authors for 100. The answer is... This author of Breakfast at Tiffany's wanted Marilyn Monroe to play Holly Go Golightly. Who is Truman Capote? American Authors 200. At the start of World War II, this author of The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich was a CBS correspondent. Jenny. William Shirer. Yep. That gets Jenny her first bit of cash, and she makes the next selection. Architects 100. The answer is... I am Pei, who was born in this country, became a U.S. citizen in 1954. What is China? Architects 200. The answer is... Architect Chris Carradine is the only Carradine brother who doesn't pursue this craft. What is acting? All right, I'll take uh, Architects for 300, please. The answer is... Refusing to live in a used palace, he had Albert Speer design a new one. Jenny? Adolf Hitler. So Jenny takes the lead for now. Just for now. Now it starts with O for a hundred. The answer is... Answer there. With Oklahoma, these two, the two other states whose name begins with O. What are Ohio and Oregon? Alright, that's correct. And if you guys will let me uh, step away for just one second, I gotta go grab something. I'll be right back. We'll get back to the game in a sec.
burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. <laughs> I know you're right, okay? <laughs> to see a naked grandma. What are the chances? And I'm happy to announce, we just picked up MC Chat. Hey Chat. <laughs> I had to step away for a second folks to get a band-aid, but I'll take starts with them for 200. Lacking a keenness and comprehension or an angle that is more than 90 degrees but less than 180. I'm just doing my next game of Jeopardy Deluxe Edition on the Super NES, uh, chap. What is obtuse? I'll take starts with O for 300. The end is. In the 1800s, this empire became known as the Sick Man of Europe because of its weakening power. What is Ottoman? Uh, starts with O for 400. The answer is... Small children should be kept away from this shrub with red or white blossoms. It's poisonous. Here from Rob for the very first time. It is the oleander. Yep. American author's 300. The answer is... He wrote Cadillac Jack and Lonesome Dove after Terms of Endearment. Larry McMurtry, yep. Opera, 100. The answer is... At the end of Verdi's opera, this Ethiopian slave girl is buried alive. Who's Attila the Hun? Or no, who is... Aida? I think I went with that instead. Opera for 200. The answer is... It was George Bizet's last and most famous opera. What is Carmen? I'll go with um, Opera 300. The answer is... It was Engelbert Humperdinck's first and most successful opera. Jenny. Hansel and Gretel. Oh, okay. American Authors 400. The answer is... This poet who wrote Old Ironsides was also dean of the Harvard Medical School. Oliver Wendell Holmes, yep. Multiple meanings, 100. The answer is... Times off from work or falling objects in the fall. What are leaves? I'll take multiple meanings for 200. The answer is... A narrow strip of land that juts into water or the rod stuck through meat to be broiled. A spit. Oh, okay. Now 
1970 for 100. The answer is... His court-martial relating to the events on My Live began on November 12, 1970. <laughs> Lieutenant William Cowley... Architects 400. The answer is... This U.S. President's designs were inspired by 16th century Italian architect A. Palladio. Thomas Jefferson. Oh yeah, that was my guess. Starts with O for 500. The answer is... In printing, it's a dagger sign. In New York and London, it's Cleopatra's Needle. It's an obelisk. Oh, okay. It's a close game right now. 1970 for 200. The answer is... Length that replaced the mini as skirt length dropped to mid calf around 1970. What is the midi? Nineteen seventy three hundred. The answer is. After a five year strike, the union led by this man signed contracts with most table grape growers. Who is um Welch? No. Cesar Chavez. Oh, okay. Now it's opera for 400. The answer is... After the famous overture is over, this 1829 Rossini opera goes on and on for nearly six hours. Oh, Rob doesn't know. The answer See if Jenny knows it's any better than I do. Nope, she doesn't. Ha <laughs> ha. Where in the world is El Chapo? <laughs> oh, he's right here. Oh, well, you tell him. Should have known. <laughs> now it's multiple meanings for 300. Oh, Daily Double. She's going to go all in. Here's the clue. The banner that sets apart one beauty queen from another or the frame a window pane is set in, and it's a sash. That's uh, <laughs> half time the hogs have gotten on the board. The Uh-oh. Millions of Americans first observed this anti-pollution day on April 22nd, 1970. What is Earth Day? Let's take, uh, in 1970 for 500. The answer is... For her involvement in the Soledad Brothers case, she made the FBI's 10 most wanted list. Rob gets this right, he'll tie me for second place. Angela Davis, yep. All right, Architects 500. The answer is... Last name of 17th century British architect Inigo, who designed sets and costumes as well. Oh, Jenny buzzes in. Jones, oh, okay. 3,300... 
American author is 500. The answer is... Mississippi authoress who wrote Why I Live at the P.O., A Comic Tale of Feeding Sisters. Eudora, Eudora Welty. Opera 500. The answer is... The word that completes the title of the opera cycle, The Ring of the What? The Ring of the... Nibelong, oh yeah. Multiple meanings, 400. The answer is... As an adjective, it means fast afoot. As a noun, a group of taxi cabs or warships. What is a fleet? Multiple meanings for 500. The answer is... A metal pin for holding charcoal or someone who works in brass. What is it? What is brass shear? Sum up to 2600, Rob 2200, Jenny 3800. Here we go, double jeopardy. We're going to be dealing with these categories. Medicine. Geographical records. Transportation. World history. Vitamins and minerals. And finally, Hollywood. Geographical world records for 200. The answer is... The longest land gorge in the world is this one in Arizona. What is the Grand Canyon? Geographic world records for 200. For 400, I mean. I'm sorry, 400. The deepest part of the oceans of the world is the Mariana Trench in this ocean. What is the Pacific? Geographic world records for 600. The answer is... Some say it's the world's largest, largest island. All agree it's the smallest continent. What is Australia? Geographic world records for 800, and I'm tied for the lead right now. The answer is... This Asian lake is the world's deepest. What is the Caspian Sea? Or Lake Baikal? I'll say what is Lake Baikal instead. Good thing I did. A uh, thousand. Uh, geographic world records. The answer is... So about 19 miles from the sea, this city in the Netherlands is the world's busiest seaport. What is Rotterdam? Well done in the category. Alright, let me have Hollywood for 200. The answer is... The Chateau Marmont Hotel made the news when this comic actor died there in 1982, who was John Belushi. G um, Hollywood 400, I'm sorry, Hollywood 400. The answer is... He was a Hollywood tycoon before becoming an ambassador and father of a president. Joseph P. Kennedy.
Hollywood 600. The answer is... Janet Gaynor, Gloria Swanson, and Louise Dresser were the first people nominated for these Oscars. What is Best Actress? Let's take Hollywood for 800. The answer is... George Raft is entombed at Forest Lawn next to this man who played Chico in Chico and the Man, who is Freddie Prinze. Let's take Hollywood for a thousand. The answer is... Watching kids arguing over pieces of wood inspired him to produce the R Gang comedies. Who's Hal Roach? Putting me at $8,200. The next category I'll choose will be Medicine for 200 The answer is... This contagious illness, also known as varicella, attacks children, not poultry. What is chicken pox? Let's go with Medicine 400. Daily Double. Feel confident. Let's do it all. Though the salt vaccine can help prevent this disease, no drug has been found that will cure it. What is polio? Medicine 600. The answer is... La labyrinthitis is an inflammation of the inner part of one of these. What is the ear? Medicine 800. The answer is... After this couple discovered radium in 1898, it was widely used to treat cancer. Who are the Curies? Medicine 1000. The answer is... You can get this disease, also called hydrophobia, by breathing in a cave full of infested bats. What is rabies? $19,200? Let's take transportation for 200 The answer is... Since September 1st, 1985, all new cars must have a third brake light installed here. What is the bumper? No. Well, at least I have a big lead right now. It's 19 grand. The rear window. Oh, okay. World history for 200. The answer is... FDR called December 7th, 1941, a date which will do this. What is live in infamy? Okay. I'll take uh, world history for 400. The answer is... Following his service in the American Revolution, Thaddeus Kochiusko led a revolution here. What is Russia? Wrong. Poland. We're looking for Poland. Transportation 400. The answer is... And New York City now has 15 routes for these, as well as the one between Staten Island and Manhattan. Oh, ferries, that's right. Vitamins and minerals 200. The answer is... A deficiency of this B vitamin, also known as nicotinic acid, causes pellagra. Nicotine 
Yes, and oh yeah, that was my guess, but I wasn't sure enough. Minus minerals, 400. The Although a sum of eight, some of this in food and water can reduce cavities, an excess can model teeth. What is fluoride? Let's go with vitamins and minerals for 600. The answer is... Doctors advise a restricted intake of this to help reduce blood pressure. What's sodium? Vitamins and minerals for 8, please. The answer is... The blood level of this mineral necessary for bone growth is regulated by the parathyroid. What is calcium? Vitamins and minerals, 1,000. For the daily double. Let's do 4,400. Put me in a nice even $25,000 if I answer correctly on this clue. You need the sunshine environment to promote the absorption of calcium. What is vitamin D? Transportation 600. The answer is... Of north, south, east, or west, the direction of travel that causes the most severe jet lag. East. Oh, yeah. World History 600. The answer is... 1988 was the 400th anniversary of the defeat of this famous fleet. What is the Spanish Armada? I'll take um, the $800 clue, please. The World answer History. Is. After these wars ended in 1485, the royal houses of York and Lancaster were united. What are the Wars of the Roses? No. They were the Wars of the Roses. You had to put the whole thing. The Wars of the Roses. Oh. Okay. World History 1000. The answer is... After teaching French at a Connecticut girls' school, he served as Premier of France in World War I. Georges Clemenceau. Mm -hmm. Either way, it's looking pretty good for me to do a fourth game. Transportation 800. The answer is... This auto company advertises that its cars are built for the human race. I'm going to say what is BMW. No, it's not BMW. Nissan. Oh, yeah. Now the last clip. In California, you can find replicas of mission bells marking the route of this rural highway. It is the Camino Real. So at the end of Double Jeopardy, Jenny has 6200 Rob $5,600, I have $24,000. It is a runaway game. I cannot be caught. And our category is four letter words. You know what? I'm going to take a chance. 23,900. Here is the clue. 
difficult part of the part of the camel to get over. What is the hump? That'll put me at forty-seven thousand nine hundred. Resulting in one hundred five thousand dollars in just three games. The final Jeopardy answer is. Is it the hump? Yep. That will put me at forty seven thousand nine hundred dollars for the game. Let's see if Rob came up with the hump. Yes, he did. Tells his money to 11200 How about you, Jimmy? You're right. You're up to 11400 and I said, what is the hump? And I have a three-game winning total of $105,000. See you all for the next video, everybody.